Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss the most common JSON processing libraries in Java. All right. So there are a lot of JSON, you know, JSON libraries exist out there, but uh, we have to know that we have to know which library should we use for our Java projects. All right. So as per my experience, uh, I know I have worked on uh, many of the popular JSON processing libraries in my day-to-day -day project work. And uh, based on my experience, I would like to suggest uh, four uh, most common and popular JSON processing libraries. Okay, so the first one is Jackson uh, library. And second is uh, JSON library. And third is JSON.simple. And fourth one is JSON processing. So these are the four uh, JSON processing libraries that we can use in our Java project. Okay, so based on my experience, I have worked on all these four uh, you know, JSON libraries. And uh, uh, so each of uh, these you know, JSON libraries uh, provides a uh, you know, very simple JSON processing uh, mechanism. All right. So in this video, I would like to discuss these four JSON libraries. And uh, uh, so I have extensive, extensively worked on these four libraries. So I have created a separate complete article or complete tutorial on each of these uh, JSON libraries. So I, I would like to give you an overview of each of these JSON library. And I will show you the complete tutorial that I have written on each of these JSON uh, you know, Java libraries. All right, so let's first have a look into the Jackson Java library. So Jackson is a very popular and efficient uh, Java-based library to serialize and deserialize. All right, so Jackson is not only for serialization and deserialization, but it provides a lot more things like it provides a streaming APIs to read and write the JSON content as discrete events and uh, it has provides a lot of Java classes to model a data in a stream model. So, and uh, yeah, it provides the data binding features like serialization and deserialization. So serialization means converting Java objects into JSON and deserialization is converting back from JSON to Java object. All right. So uh, Jackson is very popular uh, Java library and you can find this library uh, in, in a most of the frameworks like Spring framework. So Spring extensively uses a Jackson library to handle a client request. So client basically sends a JSON request to the controller. For example, if you, are, if you have already used Spring MUC, then Spring MUC internally uses Jackson libraries to convert uh, Java object into JSON and JSON into Java object. All right. So to use J Jackson Java library, you have to add this dependency to your Maven project. All right. So look at here, there is a complete tutorial I have written on Jackson library over here. So look at here, I have provided a lot of, you know, practical examples on Jackson library. So you can just go through these examples and you can, you can use these examples directly in your project because uh, most of the example I have been using in my project work and all, uh, all the examples are working. All right, so now let's have a look into the JSON. So JSON uh, is you know, developed by Google and uh, Google internal, uh, Google initially, uh, these JSON libraries uh, you know, developed for its internal use but later it it uh, has open source all right now the various companies and open source, open source projects are using this json library library extensively all right so json library is a java library that can be used to convert a java objects into their java represent json representation and it can also be used to convert a json string into equivalent java object all right so JSON was, as I mentioned, JSON was originally created and, uh, you know, internally used by the Google. And later it was, you know, open source and the various companies and open source projects are right now just JSON, JSON, library, as JSON libraries using extensively. 
so here are the few of the goals for the json so you guys can just go through uh, the json tutorial here so before that to in order to use a json java library you need to just add this maven dependency to your maven project all right so look at here uh, the complete tutorial for json library so i have created uh, you know the course for uh, you know json so this is the complete course i have created and i have published on youtube channel so so you guys can have a look into it so this is a complete json uh, course from scratch to uh, i have developed from the scratch and you will learn a lot of things about uh, json uh, library for example how to serialize deserialize primitive types how to convert java object into json and json to java object and how to serialize deserialize collections how to serialize deserialize generic types enums inner classes multi-dimensional array and how to create your own custom serializer and deserializer and how to you know exclude fields from the json using at expose annotation and how to handle null object in JSON and how to convert JSON to map. So there are a lot of things I have covered in this course. And uh, yeah, you can also use these articles, all right? And uh, you can also, you know, you can use this source code from the article, all right? So just go through this complete tutorial on Google JSON tutorial, okay? So next is json.simple library. So this is a very simple Java library for JSON processing. So it is used typically for you know converting JSON into Java object and uh, you know Java object into JSON. And it is one of the simplest uh, Java library, and it is also a lightweight. And you can use this library to encode or decode JSON text. And uh, it's open source lightweight library which is flexible and easy to use, use by reusing map and list interfaces from the JDK. So a good thing about this library is that it has no external dependency. All right, so to use a json.simple Java library, just you need to add this uh, Marvin dependency to your palm.xml. All right, so again, I have created a complete tutorial on this uh, you know, simple uh, json.simple Java library. So check out this, you know, complete tutorial on json.simple Java library. So here you can find how to read and write JSON in Java. All right, it's a pretty simple uh, tutorial. You can just check it out. And again, next is a uh, JSON processing. So JSON P stands for JSON uh, Java JSON processing. So uh, it so basically the JS are 353 addresses, the standard Java API for JSON processing. And this JSON P is shipped as a part of Java WS7, okay? And Java API for JSON processing provides a portable APIs to parse, generate, transform, and query JSON using object model and streaming APIs. All right, so there are two ways to work with the JSON in JSON P. One, we, one is streaming API and another is object model API. All right, so I have given an explanation here what is you know, the streaming API and uh, object model API. And there are a lot of classes, classes and the interfaces that are required to work with uh, you know, JSON processing. All right, again, I have created a complete tutorial on JSON processing in Java library. Here, just you can check it out. All right. Now, let me summarize what we have, we have discussed so far. So we have discussed the most common and popular JSON processing library that we can use in our day-to-day -day project work, especially in Java. All right. And uh, so now uh, you guys are wondering like uh, there are four JSON libraries and which one should I use? All right. So, so based on my experience, what I can suggest you guys. So Jackson and JSON. 
so these two libraries are quite popular so not only for serialization and deserialization but these two so jackson and json this library provides a, a lot more uh, features so for example whenever you want to you know process uh, whenever you want to have a json complex json and uh, you want to work with the complex json streaming apis etc then you can you guys can just choose a jackson or json all right and whenever you have only the you know you you have a requirement like uh, reading and writing the you know json in java then you guys can use a json.simple and json processing libraries and these two libraries are quite lightweight and jackson and jsons are you know these are uh, used for a lot of uh, you know used for not only serialization and deserialization but they are used for you know processing complex jsons and uh, tree models so json can be converted into tree model and then you can process the tree model okay just i guys uh, what i can suggest you guys just to go through the complete tutorial on each of these you know json libraries and then you will get the idea when to use these json libraries and which one i should use uh, you know uh, this json java library all right so i i hope you got the idea about uh, the you know the most important and the most common json libraries for java all right so thanks for watching uh, if you have any uh, you know queries or any questions about this uh, this topic then leave a comment in a comment section i will be happy to answer your question thanks for watching i will see you in the next video